everybody. This is Summer with Done Naturally and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about weird boobs. That's right, weird boobs. Do you have them? Is it something that you've been thinking about your whole life? During puberty, did your breasts not develop? Did one breast develop and the other didn't? Do they have an odd shape? Did you possibly get a breast augmentation to cover up the weird boobs to make them more round, full, symmetrical, and quote, normal? Well, I wanna talk about this today because it's very pertinent in the lactation world. When we're talking about milk making, breasts are their size and their function is incredibly important. Weird boobs have a few names and we're gonna talk about what they look like. One of the names is hypoplasia. One of the names is insufficient glandular tissue or IGT, or also tubular or tuberous breasts. These breasts look more like conical or long tubes, like long socks that are empty at the top and then heavy at the bottom. They might have an areola that is what we call bulbous or more doorknobby. It might appear as though there's no breast tissue at all until the very end where it hangs down. Hypoplasia can mean we have a lack of breast tissue in one quadrant of the breast. So we might not have much tissue in the inner cleavage area. It might be there's less on the top, on the sides, on the bottom, all over. That is the insufficient glandular tissue. So both of those are markers for low milk supply. We also look at symmetry. So are the breasts symmetrical? Are they asymmetrical? Now everybody has some asymmetry of their breasts, but I'm talking about asymmetry that everyone notices, not just that we notice. Everybody seems to have one breast that's a little larger than the other one. And even one that makes a little bit more milk. I call it the keg and the pony keg. But I'm talking about breasts where one is like several sizes smaller than the other one. Um, or one breast that doesn't have any breast tissue at all, maybe it's nipple only. And another one that is a little odd looking. Is there a lot of space between your breasts? We're looking at two to three finger space or more between your breasts. Some women have four or five inches of space between their breasts and that's a marker. It could be they look a little bit odd this way. These things need to be addressed with a lactation consultant and a doctor. We can work together knowing your history and what's going on and give you the most opportunity for success. Does asymmetry, hypoplasia, IGT, conical breasts, does that mean that you will not make any milk? Absolutely not. It's a spectrum. Some women can have moderate IGT, some women have much more significant IGT, and milk making goes on a spectrum with them. A lot of women may make a very full milk supply and supply everything the baby needs with hypoplasia or IGT. Some women may make none. Some women may make part. Maybe they can make 25 to 35%. Maybe they can make 50. Maybe they can make 60%. Some women may end up enjoying breastfeeding and also enjoying bottle feeding with supplemental milk. Some women may enjoy complete 100% direct breastfeeding and use a supplemental tube system that holds the supplemental milk here at their chest and with the tube delivers the supplemental milk to the baby while the baby is sucking on the breast. Lots of options, but it's something significant that you need to be looking at when you are thinking about becoming pregnant or pregnant. Weird boobs, although it's funny for me to say, it's a thing. So get in contact with the lactation consultant, speak with your physician. We will decide how you can best move forward with your goals and your baby. And remember, these things, IGT, hypoplasia, tubular breasts, they're completely out of your control. It's nothing that you did. And this is important because women that have IGT or hypoplasia may not know it. They may be one of those moms who's gone through all sorts of hoops to make enough milk and struggled and struggled and never figured it out because no one told her. No one looked at her breasts and bless her heart, she tried so hard and think it's something that she did. These are out of your control. This happened during development, 
possibly in utero, definitely pubescent, out of your control. And knowing that information is powerful because it can lift that weight that you did something wrong. So moms out there with weird boobs, please talk with a lactation consultant, talk with your physician, and let's get you off to a very, very good start and make sure you can have success in whatever that means for you and your baby. All right, you guys have a great day. If you like, give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna subscribe, bink, go ahead and do so, so you can keep up to date with all my weird, fun lactation stuff. Okay, have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.